Hello everyone, my name is Ayub from iMaker and today I'll be talking about Loctite N475, one of the elastometer presents from Engels Selection. First thing first, Engels Loctite brand is the trusted choice for engineered high performance sealant and coatings solutions. Now let's dig in into the mechanical properties of the printer part. As a beginning, the final product can reach up to 200% elongation, which means it enjoys really good elastometric behavior. Furthermore, with a tear strength of 13 kN per meter and a shore hardness of 57 of the scale A, it makes it not easy to be uh, torn off. For the context, 57A is somewhere of the hardness of a car tire tread, a little bit softer than the shoe's heel and harder than the pencil eraser. After having shed light on the mechanical properties of the printed part, it is worth mentioning that this type of resin is ideal for several applications, namely sport shoe soles, as you can see here, this printed part, and it's also ideal for air and dust caskets and flexible seals and housings like this one over here. They both enjoy really good elastometric behavior and they're quite flexible and tough. So, Loctite N475 is a flexible resin that enjoys really good UV curable coating parameters such as good stability. Furthermore, it has many advantages, namely a low viscosity of 1.4 at 25 degrees, which means you will have less suction forces between the build platform and the FEP film. Accordingly, you will have better addition between the printed layers and the build platform. When it comes to printing this flexible resin, it is compatible with several printers which have a wavelength between 385 nanometers such as Azigamax UV385 and a wavelength of 405 nanometer such as Frozen Sonic 8K Mega. When it comes to preparing the print file, it is really important to remember to give a high priority to the support structures due to the nature and flexibility of this N475. To do so, we recommend to add support having parameters between 0.6 and 0.8 millimeters for the support thickness diameter and between 25 and 75% for the support contact areas. As you can see here, these are the support I use to print the sport shoe sole and the flexible seats and housings. After that the printed parts are successfully uh, printed, now it is time to remove the excess of the resin from the part. To do so, we basically recommend two washing cycles. The first one is a dirty IPA bath to remove between 70 and 80% of the excess and then the second washing cycle is a clean IPA bath to remove the remaining 20% of the excess. After that, it is really essential to post-cure in 475 because we want to reach the desirable mechanical properties. To do so, we basically recommend that you put your printed part inside a container filled with water and then you place the container inside a UV light curing chamber or curing station. The question is, is that why we use water? We use water mainly because of two reasons. The first reason is that water speeds up the curing procedure. The second reason is that when we use water, it refracts UV light inside the water container, which makes it easier to reach the deep hidden cavities and spots inside the print like this. In a nutshell, Loctite Int 475 is a flexible resin that gives a good balance between elongation, strength, and hardness. 
If you would like to know more about this product, feel free to contact us at info at or check our website.